Okay, I th think we're up. We're recording? Okay. Hey, Jelly Toast here. Happy Sunday. Back to more Final Fantasy 16. I took care of hunts. I downloaded the Echoes of the Fallen DLC. Because I seem to be enjoying this game a lot, so I figure, why not get the DLC also? It'll be nice. Um, one thing about the DLC, though, is if you talk to Vivian, for another of my lectures. if you Allow view the state of the you. realm, you get the situation map, which shows what happens throughout the storyline, but you also get the Here's grand the cast. I have. So, like, you find out... Who is this? Oh, medicine girl. Whatever. Um, you find out, like, who comes in, in which point of the story. Which is super cool, but if you like pick a character, they, um, yeah, if you do the inner voice, then you could be like, he plays with me and I like him. I'll protect you. So I was playing around with this and, um, I was focusing on Torgal. And then, like, Sid appears and he's like my friend and hunting partner. And you keep going and it's like, he's fallen asleep. Where did he go? It's so sad. Yeah. He's like, I feel different. Let's go for a walk. I like... Ugh, this is so cool. <gasps> I thought that was a neat little thing they added. But... Thus ends today's lesson. Let's move on with the story. Yeah. Finish the hunt. No other side quests to do. I been up here? I don't think so. Where am I? Even the atrium? Yeah, I haven't been here. Ooh. Shouldn't you be getting some rest? I wonder if there's treasure chest here, but probably not. So Mid turns out to be Sid's daughter. You took your time. I'm a busy man, Mid. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop, like the one I had at Dad's place. Mid, you've only just come back. And? I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I like her shirt. I've studied enough. It's time I put me neck to work. Nick. I know that I can help the people here, and I want to do it. Well, well, well. If Sid could see you now. All right? I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. Jobs. For me. Who else? <sighs> what do you want me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. I have There's a ton of materials. The stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For no, now, give me a million oh, wait, no, dollars. Prioritize quest. Oh, oh, there we go. Where's it start? Heck yeah. Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. Oh wait, I have to do this to progress the storyline. I was like, haha! Before Asta, hopeless romantic. Maybe the manliest of men, but he does lack a certain tenderness. Boots, meanwhile, is as burly as a behemoth, but as innocent as a babe in arms. Cool. What's this? Ooh. I heard a rumor today that you secretly strongly dislike spaghetti. I made this up. Rumor is this made rumor made a rumor true? Yes, I don't like red sauce. <laughs> so I don't really like spaghetti, unless it's um white sauce, Alfredo sauce, olive oil, garlic sauce. The little ones have been up to their old tricks again. Uh, also, happy Sunday, Golden. Hope you've been having a good weekend. I always eat my spaghetti without marinara. Good. <laughs> A man of true taste. 
Was wondering where you'd got to. Mid's back from Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores. And Mom's spaghetti. Buy her some materials. He's nervous, but on the surface he looks calm and ready to drop bombs. But he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down. The whole crowd, oh so loud. <laughs> Just some parsley and a mountain of Think parmesan. You can find everything on there. Ooh, -hoo, nice. This lot would be much of a trader if I couldn't. Not nice even man. like any kind of oil or something. As for payment, it's paid hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have not to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Indeed it would. I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. Thank you, Karen. Okay, to the blacksmith. Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? I have a commission for you, from Mid. She requires certain tools. By the way, you're the first person to say yes to that made-up rumor thing. <laughs> All Can that everyone else has crap Bloody taste. Hell. No, I'm just kidding. I just stuff? don't like red she... sauce. We'll see what I can do. Like, lately so with I'll pizza, I even up. like white sauce pizzas. My thanks. And mids, no doubt. That just leaves the carpenter. Carpenter? Let's see if of the pier. Where's the pier? Oh, it's down there. Oh, yeah, another thing with Echoes of the Fallen. I thought that, um, I'd get new outfits. I only got the onion sword. But that's why I changed the design to this. My local Pizza Hut has a sauceless, super cheesy pizza. It's delicious. Yo, that sounds amazing. It's been a while since I had Pizza Hut. I don't want it again. Their th rust was thick. Do with a good oil in this could... How do, Master Sig? Part off. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally, I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can. But I need but some I'm wood. I've got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need Echoes patching, of the Fallen, that's a great name for a band. It is. Sink into the mirror, I gladly spare mid yeah, so there's the one DLC have, that came out, is, and I then um, a second DLC uh, episode that'll come out in spring. So that could be March, April, or May. It doesn't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Martha's Burner, Rest. was it? That's right. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolf. <laughs> Least I could do. So, gotta go to Martha's Rest. Oh, why am I so tired? Oh, it's because I didn't sleep well last night because it was so super windy. Like, it was shaking the entire house. Oh, That's Clive, how windy it what was. Brings you to the rest? I could not sleep. Our home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. Because it's 11 p.m. you're running on East Coast time. Oh, yeah. Um, did it snow it over in New York? Friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No Cressida. idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Cressida Cowper. As far as Cowper. I know, he's still there. I'll look from there, then. Okay, so he then... The ruins of Cressida. Three reeds, Whispering Rudder. Cressida. Audel Docks. ROIs, Quiet Sands, Focus Red, Lazarus Dixon, Fox Cry Cliff. Eh? Where's the ruins? In the world map? Well, he's here. Okay, you know what? I'll get out of here. See which way it's pointing. Okay, so it's pointing that way. Oh. So 
Yeah, I'm probably just gonna have to walk. Looks. Where I am very light. There were some light flakes during the New York Giants game today in New Jersey. Oh dang! Nope, I'm going up. Yeah. <sighs> like it's been unusually cold in Los Angeles too. I do not like it. This is not why I moved out to California. <gasps> I forgot her name. Aurelia? No. A, a, oh. Started with an A. Oh no. Let's go, girl. Oops, 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 oops. Okay, that no. Am I going the right way? Y'all don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. I can't cross the water. Oh, am I on the wrong oh gosh, it's up there. Fine. Turn around. Speaking of sad, football season is almost over. Oh yeah, because the Super Bowl's in February. I always thought you moved out there to become a star in Hollywood and or voice acting. Nah. I like imitating voices, but I can't actually act. It would be cool to voice act, though. Okay, yeah, here. Wait, am I in the wrong- No, this should be right. No, so, where the freak are you? Oh, you're up there! They showed it on the map, I'm just- I'm just dumb. Oh gosh, okay, never mind. Back I go. Wasted my time. Die. Flushed us some VA work. Oh, nice. I guess if I could get like an extra role, like not someone important. Oh, back down. Uh. But with AI now, people are like, oh, we don't want to pay people. We just want to feed lines into a machine and have them read that. It's like. Ugh. You'll be the background Stand character woman at the sushi the restaurant. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. I love sushi. Oh man, I want some more sushi. I did have to go up. I was going the right way. This is why I'm terrible at navigating! Girl. Ambrosia. That's her name. Oh yeah, and I mastered my limit break, so now I have four limit break bars. Yeah. None of you see me. I'm not here. Wee. I don't like seafood, so my sushi options are rather small. <gasps> but salmon is so yummy. Salmon is the best I'm assuming I have to go this way no I'm freaking I hate maps let me teleport everywhere hey guy The end of the lad who saved my life. What fish are friends, not this? food. No, fish are food. Martha fish are yummy, delicious you food. I have a proposition for you. Oops. Oh, do you now? That's been my life motto since that movie came out. <laughs> I 
Fish is so yummy, though. <laughs> well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Before we go? You can't. Of I'm course. a busy man. Well, that there is Cressida, where I grew up. And I'd rather go swimming with the fish. I did that when I vacationed in the Dominican please. Republic and in Mexico. Woo, that's so cool. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I, even patched up I the never to get got to swim with I any mean, the animals before. With or go snorkeling or scuba diving or... But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles. But that seems like a cool thing to do. Any chance you could... Uh... It's the least I can do. Well, thank you kindly. And take care. So now I just do monster exterminate. Mexico, there was this aquarium where they let you walk inside the big fish tank. Yo, that's freaking awesome! This shouldn't take long. Oops, I meant to run into the thing, but that's cool too. Oops, wrong one. Hey guys, come here, come here, come here. Come here. No, I didn't want that. It's over. I'm not looking forward to doing all the trophies for this game. There's a lot of ones that are like battle technique related. Ugh, I'm not ready to do that. Come hither! What? Whoa! What is what has been happening? I've been trying to use ignition for the longest time. Not working. Woohoo! Just get this over with. Garuda! Nope, he's not there! Whoa, I don't know what that- oh, that was like a last burst thing. I'm not hitting a lightning rod that- okay, cool. <sighs> Only 170 experience there. That should do it. Oh, won't the monsters come back? You made short work of that lot. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. This is a very tiny town. How long is it since the village was abandoned? Village. Well, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. A decade? Oh, it may as well have been a century. Looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. 
Am I gonna have like a village rebuilding side quest? Ah, don't be. Like, yeah, hey, you have to pool all of your nice extra and money into build so rebuilding like all these different towns. It's on your hideaway. I'll meet you there. I just really want to fix up my hideaway. I want to. I want it like a sweet coded situation. Where you um, keep recruiting people to help make your base more functional and look nice. But I think that would be too hard to do in this game because everything's so like high graphics. Like, how would they be able to like remodel all of this? The little ones have been up to their old tricks again. I just really want an airship. I want an airship with a layout that makes sense. This place does not make sense. Shouldn't you be getting some rest? Then again, they had to make do with whatever ruins were here, so. All right, Clive. You've all done then. I am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's Rest. That's brilliant. Thanks, Clive. Is there anything else you need? A million dollars. Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. I can't wait. She's cute. I like her. My renown! Is that enough for, um, the next reward? That's my good deed for the day done. So visit Let's the infirmary, but before I do that... Ah, oh, side quests! Side quests! Oh, that made me dizzy. Uh... Let's go to the side quests. Screw you, Jill. Haha. -ha. Okay, first of all, I talk to you. Welcome to the patron's whisper. Your benefactors are regenerating. 295! Oh, I'm five I'm away. Done. Fancy a look at the list, do you? I do. You go. Nothing. Nothing! Oh, so I you. manually have to walk. Yeah. Where? Okay. One's... Oh man, one's in the infirmary. Uh, okay, then I'll just start with weight of command boarding dock. What's whispering about? Haven't you heard? Mid's back. You're around to get into the Oh, I go this way. Oh, you were right up there. I could have just gone up the stairs. Brah. Do you have a moment, Sid? Curse breakers, North Reach. But what if I've before they go out? I, but I never. I'll go and find them. I'll go and find Thank you. The plan was to intercept. Dragon's eerie. Torgal. Yes. Fifteen renown. Enough to get me the next reward. So, before I visit infirmary. Aha. You! I do I like most of the sound effects in this game. Usually I don't like sound effects. They're annoying. Okay, so I just have to search in that area. Okay. Slavers don't even bother with North Ridge now they're all the high boys. North Ridge. It's close enough that I don't need Ambrosia. It's so pretty. Look at the clouds. I see you guys, but I see this shiny thing also, so. <laughs> Two gill snap. I hit the jackpot. Oh, I'm glad you're in one piece. Just about. Sid, if you don't mind me asking, what are you doing here? Doris sent me to find you. She hasn't heard anything since the attack. She's been worried about you. I sent a runner to the dame in Northreach. The hideaway should have learned of our survival yesterday. Uh oh. Something's fishy. 
Only some. The rest locked themselves in the slaver's carriage rather than fleeing when they had the chance. I want to help them, Sid. But we're barely in any state to protect those few we did save. You made the right decision. Now where's the carriage? The goblins may still be out there. You have duties to attend to here. See to the injured. I'll handle the rest. Oh, so... All right. Everyone is fine? Just follow the path to the south. You'll come across the carriage soon enough. And please, hurry. If the beastman gets those bearers, the poor souls will be eaten alive. I thought it was going to be more of a happen. sneaky espionage thing yeah. rather than a, hey, and Sid, defeat goblin. It's good to see you. Don't thank me just yet. I don't remember who you are, kid. Hey. Oh, the carriage is right there. But before the carriage, I see another shiny. They're trying to get into the carriage. What? <sighs> wow! Oh, I did do a magic burst. Yo! Ah! Aha! Oh, I primed too early. No! Woohee! Heck yeah! No, focus on this guy. Oh, perished. Die, Lita! And you. Aha, <laughs> easy peasy. If only I didn't limit break so early. Because there's a trophy about killing a certain number of enemies when you're semi primed. So I'm trying to do that. Who are you? friend. Are there any more survivors? Why didn't you flee with the others? If the goblins had made it through that door, you wouldn't have stood a chance. Why should we run? One miserable death's no worse than another. Perhaps. But we're here to give you another choice. Oh, look at that sunset. Safety, the life you've been denied. Come with us. Let us protect you. Sid, I, I couldn't just let you. You weren't too late then. Thank the gods. This man risked his life to save yours. I like that their scars for removing chance. the brand are different. Like, they didn't just use the same we'll textures. What we'll do but it's like the, safety. the brand removal okay, process was but like different for everybody. Your your own now. That's a nice little detail. Us, Sid, we'll get everyone back to the hideaway. Thank you. I'll let Doris know we're expecting new arrivals. Okay. Oh, back. <sighs> and Doris was up. Th Wait. Oh, she's up there now. Hi! Sid, welcome back. If I okay, you're taking too long to talk, lady. Or maybe I would. Call on the other. No, I was lucky. Bah, bah, what kind bah, bah, of leader? Bah. I should have urged greater caution. We swore this. It's good to see you, Sid. With all due respect. We curse breakers don't risk our lives. No one with doubts ever joins our ranks. We all know how much. Cole, I never. Thank you. I sometimes wonder if, but 
I you will. Since that wasn't a main story quest, I just skipped all the dialogue. I guess I could have skipped all the dialogue with the, the other people too. Well, rising flames cool down by two seconds. Okay, cool. If I was a smart tactical player, I would use all those like cooldown accessory things. Maybe I'll use them when I try to do the How trophies. I today, Clive? Give me my reward. There you are. Direwolf Jess. I don't know what that is. Expand Renown to unlock. Freaking, you won't even tell me what it is. Come again. I may have more for you. Oh, uh, let's see. Items. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, where is it? Oh, is it gear? Direwolf Jess. Increases combo damage by 5%. Oh, cool. What do I have? Uh, time slows, increased defense by 30, ability points. I like what I have right now. Okay, infirmary. Ah, Clive. Talia. How's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Of course. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh. Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The shelves? Elves? Oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Torgor. He must have found something. Oh, I need to speak to Harparkides. See if there's any more knowledge I could give him. You have the look of a man with the twins upon his shoulder. Talia has tasked me with removing a... I'm, I'm afraid of what... Is it? Really? You don't need me to answer that. I hope as much as you that one oh, day... Oh, so he's being trained to remove the brand. Ooh. The operation may be dangerous. I know, but... Gripe. I know you will. Unfortunately, the first... Something... Just tell me what... You... Gathering no herbs. Ba -ba -da -ba. Unfortunately for you, I... Sorry, Gav, you'll have to wait. I want to do a side quest. Right there. This game is so fun. Like, it's not even a chore doing side quests. I get to look at beautiful scenery, listen to boring music, because this area has crap music. Not for those herbs. Herbs. Ha-ha! No, -ha! oh, go back! Get staggered! Come here! No, oh, that's not bringing them over. Level up! Whee! Yeah, 32. When did I level up to 31? Oh! Is it over? Okay, I guess it is. Uh, herbs. Herbs. Right there! Wait! Ammonia. This is the only plant around here with blue flowers. I hope it's the right one. One more? Where's the last one? Uh, oh, up here. Should be enough to keep the infirmaries. Ooh, sorry, Clive. Gonna have to cut your dialogue. The little ones have been up to their old tricks again. I wonder if I'm actually getting really close to the end of the game. It's just it's telling me only fifty-seven percent. 
because maybe Already there's like usual. optional side quests you could do, but if you just jump to the main storyline, oh, yes. it'll be a lot we'll shorter. Be fine. Thank the brand won and even slapped the game. A curse break, they toil in the shadows, and yet we never won for conviction. They're willing to fight. I know your work isn't easy. <laughs> it's natural for thank you. I know that these quests start to build like relationships with everyone in your hideout and be like, yes, we're all working together for a better world. But I'm just like, hey! I got other things to do. Why can't you sprint in the hideout? Look at that view. So pretty. Who's over there? Why is there a dock over there? Also, these must have been some huge ruins. For all of that to be all over this place. Hey! Clive, where have you been? I've been wanting to ask you something about Togo. He's Where a good did boy. you get him, like, in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tones? It certainly adds weight to the theory. How does he have tiny Clive, braids on his beard? I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf. An animal native to the far northern reaches of Vanisthea. In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. His name was Fenrir. Fenrir! Fenrir the frost wolf. He's like, but my name's Torgal. The annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva, a girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other... You're saying that Jill granted Torgal his powers. What? Ow. Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but... Torgal and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. Just when his master needed him the most. You're right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own. His latent birthright as a Frostwolf. It had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal! <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. You're a good boy. And regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. Uh, <laughs> what? I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. <sighs> I shall be a moment. Bernard. Some time later. Let me in. I want to see. Ooh. Hey, brilliant. That's a cool stone table. It is. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. You and everyone else. But I promise I'll pay you back. I'm going to work my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward to seeing them.
Let's start now. I want to see what you can do. Now that that's settled, I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Koopka. Thanks for letting me do this, Clive. I'll pay you back, I promise. How? What is this? For some reason, this reminds me of the um, location in Fatal Frame 1 where they do the the ceremony for the rope priestess um, when when they split apart her limbs. This way? <gasps> How goes the hunt for Kupka? Largely in circles. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. Do we have to look for him? You're just gonna stand there while she thinks about it? What the heck? If What? Here? Would that be a problem? Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. You have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> that is a relief. Uh, Clive, have you got a minute? We, um, have a guest. A guest? Ooh. Your trouble. It was a pleasure, in hindsight. <laughs> my uncle? Uncle Byron? Clive, my boy! Tap a cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here! <laughs> Why is he here? Did something happen? Oh, I was like, how come I didn't destroy that crystal? It's because it's in Sandbrack. So fancy. The Dalmechian government sues for peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. Why is that kid just Still, kneeling there? We must insist on substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Aye, and we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmex empty their treasuries for us. That kid is kind of creepy. He's kind of like... What's his face? The kid from the Airy in Game of, of Thrones? Course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire owes you a great debt. May the blessing of the crystals go with you, your highness. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Very good. Now, let us come She's to so the question weird of and precisely creepy. when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Dion's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. The men of the Fist will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can. 
and once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? Uh, your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while his highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both. You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmecs to send for him, he would not arrive in time. As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan. This guy is a it douche. Is not to be. And what of your subjects, your radiance? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. You don't deserve every home to throw. That burns, another can be built. He says that, but who's going to front the money? The empire will live on. If you don't have people, there is no empire, you idiot. Dion? Yes, sir. Also, he's a prince. Why is he standing in front of him and not sitting next to him? The heck? This guy is gross. I see why he married, um, Clive's mom. She's also gross. Their child is gross. Not a baby. Sit by yourself. Prepare for battle. But sire. All of that just to say prepare for battle? Do not make me repeat myself. Return to your camp and await my orders. You're lucky your son likes you. He can turn into Bahamut and just kill you. That is your wish, your radiance. I shall depart at once. Stop smiling. Gosh, someone needs to unalive her. For real. May Gregor forgive you. What do the astrologers augur? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. You're going to fortune telling? Instead of talking to your own son? Annabella's tales were true. Oh, she me, Dion. she's turning the king against his own son. She wants her son to be the emperor. Oh gosh, you're so Gosh, it's like she failed with Joshua, so all her hopes are pinned onto that kid. And she's making sure he never leaves her side. Because Joshua was sick, so she's gonna be like, taking extra care with her new kid. one thing after another Gross. They're just gross. <laughs> Blurry face. Ah, my dear nephew. Why did Clive's oh, dad get him. married to her in the first place? How did you find this place? Was it an arranged home? marriage? Through the good offices of young Sir Wade. He really is the most helpful fellow. As are you, I hear. The Guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came, to learn the full truth of the matter. Sort the fact from the fiction, so to speak. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosalith upon Tisolda. 
I was. Aye. Then I have questions for you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? 2,000? 2,000? 2,000 dollars? 2,000 coffers? Am I super rich now? And I'm afraid that is all I know. A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Coco withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. But can Hugo even Come here and I'll show turn into Titan? Didn't I take his power? Isn't that the same thing that happened with Benedicta? I got her power and she's like, Go, Garuda's gone. It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Walud? Certainly her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield So is Arabella the then just keeping the Hugo locked? Or Black oh? Galleon. Wait. She boasts but... a vessel nigh as swift and every bit as feared as the But I don't know if Arabella was she d was the last person to really talk to him. But who took him? Apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes. It seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. That is a very long way to travel. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang, a place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts. But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ship's flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea, being tossed hither and yon yeah, by see, unforgiving so waves. Far. His life hanging in the balance. No. The journey would mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light with her Titan back in his bed, days before a galley could lurch into port. To wit, it was the Royalists, not the Republicans, who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. Okay, so now we know where to go. So it was the Waluders who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it, there was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost crestfallen, as if in mourning. As if they believed, or were made to believe, that their master was dead. You have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield. And you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the Royalist trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now. But as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. Uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Camberwood on business after... Oh my gosh, Uncle, you better not die. The fang would be but a short detour. Be what if Kupka's like, Hugo's like, oh my gosh. Me. I need to tell my friends what we've learned. Here's I'm another person going. that you care about. Well. I'll kill them. Be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. I need my uncle to stay alive. <laughs> Speak it's with Otto. Otto. Kupka's at Drake's Fang. 
I'll be leaving before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Don't worry. I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kupka's head. I mean, why not I won't do them at the same I time? I promise. Two birds with one stone. The Lanza and the Fang are all Kupka's personal fiefdom. You have any trouble on the way, you ask for Rosina Dalemil. Some call her the Desert Hare. Who is she? The Desert Rose? An old associate of Sid's. And only Sid's. All I know is the name. And that they used to meet at the Dalemil Inn. We've heard nothing from her since he died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid might be able to bring her back into the fold. Thanks. I'll keep that oh. in mind. So, uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome to stay, but... Don't look so worried. He'll be coming with me. Thank fuck for that. Gav, Otto, I'm leaving you two in charge. How does he not like us. my uncle? Okay. Uncle! All right, Uncle. I'm ready to depart. Shall we? We shall. Come, let us away to adventure. New area. Wee. Oh wait, is that a Oh, that's a mother crystal too. I didn't realize it was a mother crystal cuz it was orange. This one's blue. That one's blue. All of them have it blue. Okay, let's go. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, Selk, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Happy New Year, dude. Hope you've been well. Yes, another obelisk. Oh, wait, that's how I teleported here. Duh. I was a young man when last I walked this path. It's just the two of us? Oh, it's Oracle. There's an old trading post not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. The trading post it is. New enemies. Riddle of the Sand. Let's go. No shinies. Our destination lies over that dune beyond the ruins. Dune. Not well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the sands. Gotta watch Dune Part Two when it comes out. The first Many movie was ago, interesting. When you were just a boy. You and I rode this way together, accompanying your father on a scouting expedition to Drake's Fang. He let me come with you. I'm not surprised you don't remember. It was just before Joshua was born. You that was a so tiny kid. There when your brother arrived, that you whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home and fell from the saddle. <laughs> I shall never forget how Elwyn fussed over you as you sat in the sand, bawling like a babe. Father! Why did you marry Arabella? She's a terrible person. I'll fight all the enemies later. Who do you think those soldiers were in the end? Uh oh, soldiers. So, Lord Cook has finally made his move. Wait, am I going to write? Okay, yeah. I just felt like I was going around this- I could have just cut across- okay, whatever. Ugh. We'll get there one way or another. Whoa! My uncle's running faster than me! How? Ah, there she is. The good old Dalamil Inn. Do you know, this heat has given me quite a thirst. Uh, quick drink before Ooh, we press on? Ooh, it's an oasis. Why did the music stop? Do, do, do. Oh, 
Oh oh. Look there. Those are ashen steeds. No doubt about it. And such a long ride from Stone here. Our Waluda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. Shall we join them? Do they know who I am? Run along and play now, Torgal. Dogs aren't allowed inside. Oh yes, very discreet. <laughs> Please close the doors behind you. No, why is my screen flashing? I hope that's not my screen. Good I hope day that was part you. of the game. Eating? <laughs> Sorry about my pal. He only talks when his mouth's full. What do you recommend? Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey. Ooh, that sounds good. Two bowls of that, then. An ale. Right you are. Hey, go! Coming! You're rude. Oh. Would you rather be my squire? Okay, why does it keep flashing? That's not a good sign. Stop flickering. Happening up here. <gasps> Joshua! Joshua's here! <gasps> Am I gonna meet up with him? Oh my gosh! It is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. No, we must press on. Prince Dion has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. You do understand that? Yes, Your Grace. You must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. Oh my gosh, they ha if they miss each other here, I'm gonna be so mad. Like, they're right there. In the same building. Like, meet up and travel together. Does she see me and then she's like, huh? No, oh, no, she did. Wow, they're really building the tension. It's like, will they? Won't they? Keep watch, they tell us. But all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skin, I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. That'll be Cooker, then. <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? Well, let's get this down us. We have a long way to go. Hey, you. Shut up. Shut up. Leave me alone. Sorry. Oh, I think this is why Gav didn't want him at the hideout. He just 
ruin everything. <laughs> like, you mean well, but... Not even gonna close the door? Girl! Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. Joshua, come on, you gotta see. You gotta you see. You are travelers, are you not? Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Come on, help us find our way. Or how about I stab you in the guts? But we've got business in camera that can't wait. Ah, I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Come on, come on. Come on. Friend. I'm not your friend. Don't call me friend, pal. You just run away, dude! I'm afraid we don't have a moment to lose. Friend. Haha. <laughs> Let me fight. Stay back, Uncle. Gladly. Guy, what? Eh. Yeah, let's go. The outlaw. Thank you. Try it. Yeah, try it. Bring it, all of ya. Bring it. Just like that. Just to get the kill bonus. No, they already died. Damn it. Only got one of them primed. Ugh. Weak punks. Useless. Now we have to pay for damages. For your trouble. Oh, he's just like, like throwing money. Word of advice, Left and miss, right. That soup could do with a. Touch more salt. <laughs> it's just like, ah, yeah. Joshua, Joshua, come on. I can't be going to Kupka alone. I keep calling him Kupka now. I can't be going to Hugo alone. I don't like this girl. <laughs> oh, it keeps flashing. Stop flashing. Mm. Now's our chance. Dude, they're already dead. Your Grace? Also, does she not know what Clive looks like? That is clearly Clive. Oh man, this girl reminds me of what's her face? The really annoying girl from Tales of Vesperia. The one who was so into Flynn, and she's like, oh, you're too good for everybody else in the world. <sighs> Joshua's nearby. Joshua's nearby. Clive? Go, go, look out the window. Look out the window. I like that his sword still has blood. What is it now? It means nothing. Oh my gosh. Come on! Hey, Torgal. 
Torgal, you can smell Joshua, can't you? Oh my gosh, come on. Well, we didn't know where to find Kupka before. We do now. The rulers said it themselves. Their guest is in the fang. We kind we of... Before it... Oh. Did I advance too far? Ah, they've closed the road. And it's the only way from here to the fang. It would seem Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. We have to get through that gate. Uh, not by force, I trust. We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. You brought that attention guy, onto then. us, my guy. Perhaps the desert hare can offer us her aid. Rosina Dalamil, woman of mystery. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means. The wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I'll wager this Rosina Dalamel is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. Oh, I gotta like talk to people? Are you looking for something in particular? Platinum sword. Nope, already got one, oh, so will. no. Um, speak with the townspeople. They are to this area? Yeah. Lighting for Gilbert's sake. Gilbert. Anything I can help you with, travelers? Allow me. My good man. We represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. Hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Oh, um, you wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil, would you? No, I can't say I do. Well, thank you all the same. He's probably working for her and is like, ah, keeping all suspicious people away. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? I won't keep you long. I'm looking for someone. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Oh, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. Don't find a finer smithy this side of the strait. The owner's only a young sprig. But he's got all the right ideas. The Briar's Kiss, you say? Thank you. Ooh, a smithy. I doubt this young sprig is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influence comes with age and experience. Believe you me. With age and experience, but you totally got the other guys on us. Dude. Can I help you? Yes. I'm looking for a woman by the name of Buzina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Wait, are you the blacksmith? Thank you kindly. No, oh, you're a riverboat captain. What? Well, it sounds like we have our man. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this Ferda knows. I thought I was supposed to be- okay, whatever. Excuse me. Are you Ferda? I am. Can I help you, travelers? I hope so. 
You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the Desert Hare? She was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the Bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. Just like that? You're not suspicious of me? Okay. Do you think we can trust him? Only as far as I... Oh, cut the dialogue short. Whoopsies. So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. I beg your pardon? Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business and you're likely to lose it. Not if I kill you first! Yeah. No, I didn't kill them all. No, my prime status is gone. Oh my god, at least like three of them though. Get staggered. Uh, that's what I should have done. See, I don't know how to, like, activate those mortal blows. It just happens. I hope I didn't actually kill them. That would suck. Okay, good. Who are you working for? Him or her? Uh, uh, him. The, the boss. He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. Lord Ferda? Look what the cat dragged in. Your skill with a blade is rare indeed, my lord. His mouth wasn't a moving during that line. For an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Uh, yes, my lord. To the Lock of Leisure, then. To the Lock of Leisure. Whatever that is. Needed to a silken sniff like Baker? <laughs> Once you go flat? What? Okay. The finest no! Obelisk! Is this the place? Ooh. The Wars Forge. The Briar's Kiss. New weapon? Ah. So it was the young sprig after all. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. How wrong I was. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry, him. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. Don't worry. I'm a nice person. Lubor, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the Second? <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the south gate. <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing. Tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Why, trust. Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. 
And so, for you, I, too, have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. You are busy sitting and doing nothing. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Okay, bye. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why, you... So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? No, I don't want to do this. Hmm. I like this one. Willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Well, I don't like you. <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want. Always. Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff. We might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. Yes, get to the point. I, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid what you good trouble? day. What trouble? What <laughs> trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them, damn you. Manners, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. What? Ugh, uh, I don't... It will be easy. Solving his little... I don't like characters like who are just like, hoo hoo hoo, I'm so Clive. cool, I'm so Let's mysterious. Ooh. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer uh, than we need to. They're just annoying. <sighs> Alright. Good luck, uncle. Oh, it's a quest. Oh, I have to do it. I thought we were the only ones causing trouble in Dalamil. You better be worth it, kid. Are you activated? I think you are, because you're shiny. Uh, okay, what do I do here? Excuse me. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard, then. I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Okay, this seems like important. I was thinking about skipping this dialogue, but... And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market, either. But yeah, I think the Empire, Sandbreck, is taking all the crystals um, to keep powering their Empire and let the palace essentially live in luxury. They're not leaving any for any people. Hey. Oh, you. Do you have a moment? Depends what for. Just a question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men of the rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well, thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. So, I think we basically need to find... Who's taking all the crystals? A deposit. And stop them. Juiciest meat from greens. You wouldn't believe how much you gave me. Yo, I just want to find Joshua. 
not a soldier. Ugh, then be off with you. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. You have an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. I that water I'm looks beautiful. What's been going on? I wonder if Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. He'll probably be back at the inn by now. Wait, where are you? Uncle? Oh, here. What was all that crashing and banging about? It's you, the one who broke all our furniture. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but... But... Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. Here? Nope. That door doesn't open. Where the heck are you? Let me. What? Okay, so not that way. This way. Huh? Will this suffice as a deposit? By the sands. That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with, should you give me reason to do so. All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. Oh, is he trying to bribe the guards? What are you doing, Uncle? I hope he's not doing any backstabbing. I hope he's not going to be like, hey, Empire, here's Clive. What if all the money that that Byron bought, brought over wasn't money? No, I can't. Gifts to Kuka's men. I can't think Faith, negatively. Boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystallized sort if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof. <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. A small price to pay for- Yo, give me $500,000, please. That's enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals. Oh, uh, okay, elsewhere. so it's the soldiers taking them. Pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. Oh, what if it's the soldiers we'll them, working Just as you for the Empire, and that's what they're getting money. To the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. It just goes to show, one should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. I jump down. Perfect place for a spot Oop. of double dealing. I trust. Okay, so where? All the way out there, frack. Okay, can I walk down I can count on this your way? Support if things turn sour. <laughs> no, I can't. Okay, I just of course. manually walk down the stairs. Ugh. Wait, if I go down that way, 
No, because I have to end up there. Um, okay. Just take the stairs. And Why is walk the out. Because I destroyed it! Okay, I'll explore the desert later on my own time. I just want to get this part of the quest over with. I don't Goodbye, like... Russia. I don't like what's-his-face, Lubor. I just want to see if I meet up with Joshua. Oh, this reminds me of Nier. <laughs> oh, level 28. Gotta do some level grinding here. Wait, am I going the right way? Yes, I am. This seems dangerous. That's gonna like break and fall. I'll take it from here. <laughs> Whoa, they have so many crystals. I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution? All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice? You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. Don't stab me in the back! <laughs> Not bad at all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it wouldn't be seized as property of the Republic? Because these crystals are no longer the property of the Republic. You're not buying from us. You're buying from them. And we have no more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. But we have ships. So they're not Sandbrick? Now that our price has been met. They are huge. Eh? What brings you here? Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Walud, we are duty bound not to interfere. No matter Wait, no, Walud is next. um Odin's kingdom. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots. <sighs> so it would seem. My lord. What is the meaning of this? Double-crossing dogs. They're not here to do business. Kill them. Kill them both. Wee! Yet, Uncle. Good. I'm just getting warmed up. Ah! Come hither. <laughs> Get staggered. Again, don't know how to activate that, but cool. Where you at?
Yes! Kill him! <gasps> no! A chocobo! I'm sorry, Chocobo, but you are a bad boy. Nope, I keep missing. I keep missing. Who's left? Aha! Give me useful items, please. Well, that wasn't too bad. How'd you like my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice, don't you? Graybeard, you were magnificent. The battle scene was particularly thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but perhaps that's for the best. How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly. By uh, okay, kid, stop talking. Generates. Let me out of here. Ingenious? This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the rock taking crystals meant for the common folk and conspiring with the royalists. Well, now it's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of redress against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. Are you gonna bring all that back? Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. Do mind, actually. Ah, it's a rose. Desert Rose. It occurs to me that I still don't know your name. It's Clive. Clive. No. <laughs> so, Sid the Second is a Clive. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it could have been worse. Well, Clive, you held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage through the South Gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. And those left behind have been encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Thank you. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Oh, dear. Was I really so obvious? And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield, thank you very much. No, thank you very much. Greybeard. Uh -huh. Shovel the... Ugh. Here, wear this. Oh, I get another badge thing. Seal. Haha, <laughs> it does it, Rose. Any friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you, Blue Ball. And please, feel free to send one of my stoluses back to your people. I want to go shopping, man. Tell them that Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. Oh, my lost land. To his Achilles. Oh. I don't really like birds, but I think... Owls and falcons are cool. I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say, Clive? So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. Who do I, man? <laughs> when did we get so chummy? It's too late. 
flower. Well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. Not at all. It was my pleasure. Come on, uncle. Let's go. Quest complete. Give me my renown. 335. Okay, 15 more till um my next reward. <gasps> Quests! Since you're not important, I skip the dialogue! Oh, sorry! I'm Sava, Matsu to be former apprentice. People are buying up weapons faster than the Briar's Kiss. He wants me to make a carving knife. I don't suppose. I'm afraid. Never mind. Ten renown. I know how busy the Briar's Kiss is. So, good question. And then there's this little rid. The way I see it, there's only one. We need information. You're right. No. Well, there's plenty of. There's the butcher. They're bound to have an opinion. All right. I'll talk to. All right. Let's hope this. Oh my gosh! Information gathering. <laughs> I just wanted to buy weapons! Trust Lubor to take a simple test and turn it into a riddle. I better get to it. Um, wait. But you're not a store. I think this is the. Yeah, just a shop. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. I didn't even run my mouth. I'm a the heathen. Finest fabrics. Yes, they're quite so. Welcome, sir. A question. I need to know what- You're a blacksmith. Something. Fair enough. First and foremost, it's got to hold an edge. Most knives will make it through fat. Give me a blade which can slice through anything. So a knife that- Knife that stays sharp. Wouldn't you just have to sharpen it yourself? Lights and parts! Oh, everything I worked for! All those years of toil! Are you alright? The baths are- On second thought. That depends on the job. I'd have you save my business. The baths. The I've no doubt that- But I can't go and invent- I'm bound to these baths in- All right. Oh, 25 right now. Cool. My life. I'm gonna help out the apprentice first, and then I'm gonna do this quest. Um, speak with the townspeople. You're the other thing. Where's the other townsperson? The other I side. Ah, they've opened the gate. <laughs> ah, there it is. Word. Wait, where's the other townsperson? It says they were right there. Oh, they're. Wait, what? Are they upstairs? Wait, was that a treasure chest? Yes. Fifteen chunks of where right. Boo. Fucking men of the wrong. <laughs> Okay, yeah, they're not up here. Where's the other person? Can I just deal with the bombs first so I can find the other person? Best destination nearby. On this side? I'll be asking for you again, my sweet. Then see that you stay a little longer next time. My sweet. Okay, yeah, I can't find this other person. I'm like right here. Bombs first! Wait, what, what Wait oop. That's water. I cannot get. Oh, Wait, are you? Back to the thing now. What is it? Sorry. Hunter, I have a question. Oh. Has to be able to put up with some punishment. Your knife snaps every time you use it. You'll be. Thank you. All business. So, a carving knife should be hard wearing and hold an edge. Return Hardly to revelation. Sava. Let's hope Sava had better luck than I did. I. I'm still bitter about Joshua not meeting up with me. I feel like his attendant knew who I was, and she's just like, "Yo, we gotta get out of here." You learn anything useful? Only that a blade should be durable and stay. All the cooks too heavy, so we're no better. Perhaps Lubor didn't mean it. That can't be right. No. No doubt you're. I have to make us agreed. Right. I've been trained to work. Trouble is, meaning someone. Is, is there no one else you can turn? Eh. The other, a, a merchant, a favorite. Of I bet she. I 
investigate. Wait, what? Search the Velcroy Desert. Okay, so yeah, I'll I'll finish Savas first. I'm here, Ambrosia. I don't want to deal with the desert. Faster. Oh, my uncle's with me. Dismount. Any luck? Why off? If you're looking to make a knife that blimp, they're just not that. Featherlight adamantite knives will get passed from generation to generation. But adamantite ore is you. And it's unique to. Are there any materials you need to Dalamil? What are you getting at? You said the Lubor trained you to work iron, but he would have known that it would either be too heavy. If it's cheap metal, you'll use. Folk first settled Dalamil to get at her mineral deposits. And if you know the trick, it can be. Bloody hell! I don't suppose you. It's hardly my speciality. Looks like I've got some Clive. I uh. The limestone. Besides, you'll have no trouble finding. That I suppose. Right, you are. Oh my gosh! Your Ooh, quest is so up. long and annoying. Throw it in the furnace. Is there a shortcut around a town or I nope, I gotta go through the town. Okay. Let's go. This is kinda why I hate desert towns. Like everything is just so far away from each other. And they're like, hey. Like make everything super inconvenient for yourself. Wait, can I walk across that bridge? It doesn't look like it leads anywhere. Let me try going around that way. See if it's a shortcut. The map said it wasn't, but oh yeah, it's not because I have to cross all that. Never mind. Wait. Yeah, there's no way across it. Brr. It's just like deserts are so full of nothing. And I feel like that's why they make you run across end to end. Because it doesn't make sense for the desert to be full of stuff. What I'm hearing. Yes, they're quite sought after. Let me dash. Let me dash. Like, they released this new DLC and they're like, Oh, look at all these fixes we made or like things we added. Why didn't you add a sprint option? Ah, I'm not too late. What is it, Lubal? A question that I neglected to ask earlier. Where is it that you're bound? To Drake's Fang. To finish Hugo Kuka. Ah, just as I thought. Then allow me to share a secret. Drake's Fang is currently riddled with royalists. Tolmeki and Walud are allies, and as you have seen, their soldiers work hand in glove. But no nation has ever before allowed a foreign army to make a barracks of its holiest of holies. Not by choice, at least. And there's more. My man on the inside of the Fang has failed to report for several days. I fear there may be more trouble lying in wait for you on the road ahead. <laughs> Isn't there always? If you're determined to beard the lion's den, then promise me one thing. That you will enter via the mines. Aw, he does care about me. I've lost one Sid already. If I lose another, people will start to think me careless. Ha, ha, I don't plan ha. on dying. Not before Kuka does anyway. Well, so long as you have a plan. But before that, I gotta look for Drake's limestone and defeat bombs. Shall we press on? How do I get across to those bombs? Whee! 
Why are you jumping? Ooh, why are you jumping? Where's the last one? Wasn't it here? Right there. One rock looks a lot like another. Okay, so... You're t I have to walk all the way around. It's freaking annoying. But let's get comfy. But hopefully this is what Seven needs. Come on. Well, if I have to walk all the way around, I'm gonna take a chocobo. Come on, girl, the gate's open now. We can press on. And what the hell are those things? Nope, still gotta go more south. Hey, shiny Gilbug. Cool. At least you get you, you get me money. Mm -hmm. Now. Cool. Dismounting. By the flames. That explains the heat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep running into this. Hee hee! You, come here. Woohoo! You enemies approach. What? Oh, faithful. Whoops, wrong button. Oh, and I missed them all. Great. Nice try. Let's cool things down a bit. Cool, so it. now is everything back in town? Yes, then I'm gonna fast travel. <sighs> well, this is no good. I was hoping to get out of the heat for a little while. Oh no. I wasn't sure, but I hope. You are you and that merchant both sheep now. Uh, uh that'll do, I reckon. That's not a very a knife straight forged edge. from the very rocks of it's a fine look. <sighs> that sounds like my cue. I'm, I'm sorry, Forge my let's take a <laughs> it skips first, because he was moving. Sava, do you think this is a carving? Oh, yeah. uh, what? It's sharp and it's heavy. You might not think it just to hold it for a moment, but so it looks like someone paid a visit. The limestone was a step in the right direction, Gro. And I was so so. I don't know who you found to teach you that little. Next question: How much do you think I would? Well, if I would. and uh, who would be the butcher? The Dalamilla's home to humble rule number one in any yes forge mark. This is I'd say you're worth keeping around. Starting tomorrow, you'll I will. Um what would 
you, I'd do what I always If it was for the butcher, I'd make sure. For the hunter, I'd make For the cook, light as a feather. And for the nobleman... Okay, this guy is Take pretty smart. Master, all right. It looks like congratulations. I couldn't have done it so much for the full. The spirit of Dalamil had meaning. You've passed your test. And when I do... Yes, give me a carving knife. Give me all the knives. Goblin coin, cool. Now to the bathhouse, and then for Drake's the fang. Take a sniff, good sir. Needed to a silken softness, like eating a cloud with a crust. Made from the stoutest stones. Oh, there you are. I was hoping we the baths grow more I'm glad to hit. Now, tell me this. Not what I ex Monsters! Bombs! You tell a fight. That's not to say I don't believe you, though. But I burdened you with my. Give me all your money! Right. It's high. I could go back to my hideout and get the renown. Um, ooh, reduces ignition cooldown by two point two seconds. Ooh, then I can use it all the time. You know what? I'm gonna do that. Here and uh, oh. Hanging lanterns. I could get the reward for the renown, but um, I just want to make it to Drake's Fang. Like, this part of the story was a nice little interlude to get me to know more about the world, to um, be like, yep, these are all the shady dealings happening between all these kingdoms. And to find another one of Sid's allies. But now I'm ready for the, like, the story to really move along again. Hello, travelers! Wait, what's that? Oh, I can't go there yet. Never mind. Oh, this really reminds me of... Near. <laughs> I need to still- I still have to platinum that game, but it's the... The item grinding part. To create all the weapons, level them all up to level four. There it is, Drake's Fang. Okay, so I can go back because this obelisk got we'll activated. Inside. Along with goodness knows how many guards, all on highest alert, you'll need to keep your wits about you if you're to reach him. So be careful. This is why no. Joshua should I'll join up with me, but he ran away because of a stupid attendant. Before you go, <sighs> allow me to apologize. After what befell at Phoenix Gate and the crisis that followed in its wake, I fled. I retreated to my counting house and danced attendance upon the Vicerine in the hope it would bring me favor. I betrayed my nation to save my skin, like the coward I am. But you're helping me now. And I'm sorry. Uncle, please. It's not too late, Clive. Rosaria is yours by right, and there are those that would help you to take it back. Had I the courage of my brother, I might already have done so. But that ship has sailed. You, however, no. Forgive me, but I cannot. I fight to build a new world now. A better world. Where men can live and die on their own terms. 
I was raised in a nation that strove to improve the plight of bearers. You can still do that from Rosaria. Only later did I realize that spark of freedom did not arise by chance, but was kindled by my father. You would see me follow in his footsteps. And that is exactly what I mean to do. Not by ruling Rosaria, but by extending his ideals to the whole of the twins. Though every soul in the realm may judge my actions heresy, I am certain my cause is just. You really are just like him, you know? Thank you, Clive, for coming back to me. So he is a good guy. Okay, nephew. cool. I was afraid he was going to be a double crosser. Well then, this is where we must part ways. Wish me luck in convincing my Canvarian friend to share his considerable talents. I mean to plunder his coffers and prove myself worthy of a place in your merry band. <laughs> Till then, my boy. Hug him. Give him a hug. Till then. Go safely, uncle. And you, nephew. We have much to catch up on, you and I. I shall expect you to regale me with the tales of all your adventures when next we meet. <laughs> you can regale me too, Torgal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming for you, Kupka. Kupke. Wahoo! Wow, I can just travel there. Okay, uh, before that, hideaway! I will get my renowned reward. The little ones have been up to their old tricks again. A new missive has been delivered to Clive Chambers. Cool! I forgot where my chambers are. <gasps> new hunts! Okay. Um. A hill to die on. A black boulder. The Velcro. Okay. So this one is. Black. Er. expecting you back so soon but i am what I... oh it just said it unlocks more at 350 oh, donation will be available power uh 15 bright roses 800 ability points what the freak two meteorites one high clerics medallion oh damn okay um then let me go to my room which was that way okay Oh, and then I want to stop by, um, Bookman. To see if I have more- enough knowledge to get him to level 5. Bookman is this way. My knowledge but he already yours. did. I have a few new notes that might interest you. Hippocrates. <laughs> ah, so close. You wish to study the tomes? Nope. Wanted to get you to level 5 knowledge. There's also a trophy for reading all of the... It's notes from and finish the job. That's 
from Clive's desk, so gotta do that. Gotta get more, like, treasures. Desert Alliance. Sid the Second, I trust you'll forgive me for putting you and your dear uncle to the test. I'm confident that a man of your position can understand the importance of earning someone's trust, especially in times like these. For what it is worth, you now have earned mine, and I can assure you it shall not be easily relinquished. May this be the start of a fruitful relationship. Rosanna. And he signed it Lubor. Cool! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only need three more. Okay. Um, let's travel. Whoops. Oh, oh, oh. I can push buttons. Oh, I could have just stayed on a whatever. I'll just start this and then I'll end because it's been two hours. I am the tired. Metal hands. How is he supposed to use anything with those? Fuck, fuck, fuck. What is this dude? What has that castle rat done to me? Fuck! He's still super strong, so does he still have Titan powers? Out of my sight, witch! <laughs> Who the freak are you? I'll kill you, Rossville! I'll rip out your heart! I'll tear you limb from limb! You can't. Miss Hugo, the table shan't hurt you any longer. Wait, who are you? Royal Knight Lord Commander? Lord, come oh, so he's with Odin. Okay. He sought to humiliate me. Me! You do enough humiliation to yourself, dude. He would be dead! You truly believe you would have triumphed had the battle continued? Titan would have ground him into dust! And how would he have done that without his head? Shut up! You weren't strong enough. And you call yourself a dominant. Or rather, you did. He doesn't have Titan up, powers. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Do you see, Hugo? You are weak. Fuck! Mm. But so long as that fire burns within you, there is still hope. There may yet be a way for you to take your revenge. Tell me, what must I do? Please, I'll do anything. Just tell me. Oh, there's their mother crystal. The heart. Mother Crystal wow, he has such a flat butt. The most concentrated source of ether in all creation. Perhaps you could take advantage of that. Of course, the crystal would not yield her blessing to any ordinary man. Oh, he's gonna get warped. But then, you are no ordinary man, are you, Hugo? What the freak are you up to? Clive Rossfield stole your power, but others have suffered a similar fate, and still managed to find the strength to conjure their icon. I think you're lying to him. Like Benedicta Harmon. She too drank of the ether and gained a power beyond human understanding. And she still died. Benedict. Benedict. I'll do it. My love. I'll avenge you. Oh no. It's a trick. It's a trap. Run along now, Hugo. You need only 
follow the night. Muthos is here. Very well, it shall be so. How does he know? You may leave everything to me, your majesty. What? So... So then... Odin's... Dominant is the one behind all of this? Wait, so then is Odin's dominant this Ultima person who's calling Clive? Ethos? <gasps> oh? Uh, oh? What is that? Uh, I hope I don't start battling now. Like, I... I... What? Orcs. Just let me save? I didn't mean to start all of this. Did the royalists bring them from Ash? Oh, good. Into the darkness. I know it auto-saved, but, uh... I still want to save. Okay, we're going to save in slot two. Cool! That's gonna be it for me tonight. Oh, wait. <gasps> Yo! Buster Sword! 1987 orchestration. Ooh! The melody seems familiar, but the author is unknown. I don't have to listen to it the next time I'm in the hideaway, and I got the onion sword. Okay. Oh, so now I can make my sword look like, um, Buster Sword. Cool. Well, damn it, I have to save again. Ugh. Because I just received those items. Okay, cool. The next time I play, I'll start off with this. Fun times. So, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Stay toasty. Have a good night. Bye!